Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the research paper writing. Today we will discuss about the uh, important thing called as the credit contribu contributor role textually, which is the author statement when you are submitting the research articles. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. So what is that? Uh, uh, you uh, you might be know about that when you are able to submit your research paper in either on the elsewhere or any of the publishers. all the journal will ask the author to submit the credit statement during the submission of the manuscript what is the meaning is that once you will log in your submission are there so once you can see that there is a there is a term called as the credit author statement so although it is not be a mandatory but once you your paper will be accepted then the elsewhere will ask you that you can upload this file uh, credit author statement into the uh, uh, into the submission system so what is the meaning of this credit of the statement and how you can write them so we will see in this short videos are there so for example what they actually want is that you have to upload if if in your manuscript there are the three authors like gagandeep kaur harish garg and the dimple rani then you have to write like this way data creation writing methodology and so on so what is the meaning of that these all are represent my authors and they th this is the contribution of this author in a particular paper how you can analyze and how you can write this credit author statement that we will see in this video so before that we will firstly try to understand what is the meaning of the credit who will launch them and uh, how this will impact on our research so this credit called as the uh, contributor role textually was firstly introduced uh, uh, was firstly introduced in the 2000 year are there with the intention of that which are recognizing the individual author contributions so if you have a uh, four authors in in a, any of the papers then you must have to identify that what is the role of this author into the paper what is the role of the second author in the paper and so on so that is recognizing the individual author contributions as well as it will reduce the authorship disputes and finally it will facilitate the collaborations are there so with this aim this credit a uh, statement will be introduced into the research plan uh this idea is came uh, following by the 2013 which is a workshop led by the harvard university and definitely with the inputs from the researchers as well as from the uh, international committee of the medical journals and the else publisher elsewhere including the cell press i think all of you know that what is a cell press in the elsewhere are there what is the credit is that it uh, basically the credit is a high level text only which includes the 14 roles so these roles will actually defines the authors contributions so uh, based on these 14 roles uh, you are able to identify that which is actually the uh, contribution role of the your authors are there so these 14 roles are there that is a conceptualization data collection formal analysis funding methodology who will write the original draft review Uh, supervision software and many more are there so we will see one by one what is the meaning of the conceptualization data collection we will see uh, up until this or what is the meaning of that and how we can write them so before that what is the role of this is that so these 14 roles it can be used to represents uh, that typically played by the contribution to the scientific outputs are there so what is the particular uh, which authors has the particular role or otherwise you can also say what is the uh op opportunity or it offers an opportunity to share an academic accurate and the detailed descriptions of the uh, of the authors to the diverse work before that what will happen is that uh, in a paper there are the so many authors are there 3 4 5 7 authors are there but the contribution of the each author is not clear to the audience be now with the help of this credit statement each author have their own contribution in the paper or you can see this each role will describe that what is the specific contributions of the uh, to the uh, to the output of the paper or in the output of the paper so for example if i say the first authors has written as a role is formal analysis or they have the investigation and so on so who will be the responsible that the corresponding author of the paper is responsible for describing and accurate the all the roles against each of the authors how we can assign them also the role of all the author should be the listed under the relevant category like here which you can select either of them or from either of them or you can select both one by one from here or you can select as many as you want are there as per their roles 
authors may have contributed in the multiple roles like there some for example if some authors are including the methodology like data curation validation writing the results all they may have the one author as well and uh, the credit first of all the credit is a no way the journal criteria to qualify for the authorship so it doesn't makes that you have written the credit in a nice manner so it will qualify for the authorship that that will not be there so those uh, those contribution are listed among here so these 14 roles must be there so uh, where you can place in your manuscript so make sure that you have to write your credit statement above the acknowledgement section in your research paper so once you are writing the acknowledgement section you have to write this credit statement will appear above to the acknowledgement section in the research paper now we will see uh, what is the description of the each roles are there like here we will see what is the meaning of the conceptualization what is the methodology and so on and what are their definitions so look at that what is the conceptualization is there so if if the author of the paper have put up the main idea they have formulated the research goals and the uh, formulated the aim of the research paper or the for aim of the research problem then against them you have to write the target as the conceptualization so this word is used uh, whoever the authors have put up the idea of the papers or you can say the formulation of the papers or the aim of them similarly uh, what is the meaning of the methodologies are there so uh, this methodology is used uh, against the author's name who have designed them or you can create create the model are there so you can check on in your research paper who will create the models or design the model you can put them as a methodology who will uh, who will use this software like who will uh, use the uh, matlab programming or the python programming to test for the components or who will be designing the computer programs are there so basically this software is used whoever is uh, implementing your outputs results by using the programming are there. so you can put them authors name are there we can also see after this once the roles are complete we will see the couple of the numerical examples as the name suggests that there is a validation so once you will complete your results who will verify your results whether this a part of the activities or not who will replicate your results and who will compare your results or experiments with the other outputs so that's the part of the validation similarly the formal analysis that is the meaning of that you, who will ap uh, apply the statistical techniques computation analysis or an or, or the you can say the synthesize your uh, data are there so whoever the authors did this work you can write their name as a formal analysis against their name also uh, what is the meaning of the investigations are there who will conduct a research basically performing an experiment or the data collections are there so that's the part of the investigations as the name suggests for the next one is the resources that is a who will provide your study materials who will provide your materials who will provide your samples or any of the analysis tools are there you can put them as a resources similarly for the data curation as the as the suggest that who will annotate or you can say produce who can include the software course and so on and most important thing this is the most important thing is that who will write the original draft so if you have the four authors who will write the original paper so that you can put up as a initial draft so that you can write as a original this similarly once you will get the review or the editing are there who will uh, this is not the revision are there this means once you once the author will uh, write the original paper then who will review this who will find uh, the manuscript is a better manner and so on so it will prepare presentation improve them they will provide the critical review pre or the post publications are there so that you can put Uh, the title uh, writing uh, review and editing against the authors who can visualize the uh, results are there you can see who will the create who can prepare or who can uh, preparation of the published work especially for the data presentation you can put as a visualization you can who will be the supervision under which whom you can put up the, all the results that is the supervisions are there uh, project administration that is the uh, you can see who will be coordinate responsibility for the research activities and finally who will provide the funding are there like if some journal need the apc charges are there so who will provide the funds who will pay the apc charges to the journal you can put them as a funding this one there. so what you can do is that uh, now all these 14 criteria are there now we will see how this will work in in your uh, with the help of numerical example 
suppose i can put up as a sample say this is the title of the paper a novel hybrid approach of something are there and say these are so many authors in this paper so this is myself and these are my students are there now i have to define what is the role of this gagandeep kaur what is the role of dimple and so on in this paper are there so what i can do is that i can select one by one from here so uh, i can select like uh, out of these 14 i can assign uh, methodology for this sukhveer singh nancy or dimple both or all that's depending upon their contributions so for example like gagandeep kaur so I, once we will complete this work uh, we can analyze that the gagandeep kaur will uh, writing the original draft they will provide the data curations are there and so on so i can put these credits that is the data curations as well as the writing the original credit to the uh, gagandeep kaur it means uh, once the paper will be completed the contribution the role of this gagandeep kaur is they can he she write the paper and initial draft and they provide this data curation what is the role of this uh, harish kirks are there they will provide the idea conceptualization means they will provide the idea they will provide the major concept in the paper they provide the methodology of the papers they have used the software and so on and under whom they are all did in that similarly what is the role of this uh, dimple rani among all these 14s are there they can visualize them they have investigated the informations and so on so they are uh, the role of this dimple rani in this paper is only for the two similarly what is the role of this uh, gagandeep kaur and uh, sorry uh, rishu arora kamal kumar nancy and the sukhveer similarly you can write in the here like uh, software and the validation for this uh, writing review and editing for the nancy you can see that this validation is for the kamal deep software is for again for the kamal kumar and software is again for the myself so you can provide them uh, more than one to be the same are there sukhveer singh is for writing the original draft as well as for the uh, gagandeep kaur and sukhveer singh writing both as is here and the funding uh, sukhveer singh will provide the funding to the uh, to the uh, to the departments to the uh, journal sir so this is the way you can write this credit author statements to the journal so if you want to find some another videos like say how you can download the book how you can assess the full text difference between the emerging sci and the sci how difference between them and many more are there you can find all this in the playlists and the channel name dr gurg all do, all this you can find through the link uh, this one you can share this video to your friends if you like them thank you very much students happy learning